Hi everybody, today we're going to take a look at another website and today we are looking at AmmoGunShop.com Pretty nice domain, nice and short It's got the home page here, it's got a logo um, You know, the pictures look pretty good It's kind of a weird domain though, Ammo Gun Shop Wouldn't it be like Ammo and Gun Shop or like Ammo or Gun Shop? I mean, how many places carry both firearms and ammo like and that's their main thing and it's in the domain it's a little unusual let's look at firearms and try to figure out if this is a real site or if it's a scam site there's been a lot of scam sites online you ought to be very careful I wouldn't buy anything from a new website um, there is automated ways to make these websites it's not that difficult they use WordPress and WooCommerce which is a free e-commerce platform. Here's a scar. I don't know if that price is normal or good. It, it doesn't really matter. At least right now, how you can tell something is a scam is if you've never seen it before and nobody is giving it a good recommendation. And also their payment methods are bad. So let's see if that's bad. We'll go to checkout. Yeah, they want to be paid with Zelle, Apple Pay, Chime, whatever that is. Cash App, Crypto, PayPal, Google Pay, and they didn't uppercase the P. So all those payment methods are bad for firearms and, and bad in general on an e-commerce platform. Notice how there's no credit cards here, there's no checks, there's no cash in person, they don't, they don't say come to our store and pick it up. You know, most companies would be happy with that. So at this point, we are two minutes in, and I can tell you this is a scam. And just to be 100% sure, I can show you also that their inventory is not real. I mean, SCAR is a pretty weird weapon. So what if I don't want one of those? What if I want 10,000 of those? Do they think they have those in stock? Yeah, it's $31 million. Um, can I add another nine? It's 310, yeah, 316 million. So th this site is a scam. Their inventory is definitely not real time. And we'll just keep going through the scam. But if I helped you, if I made you understand this is a scam, please like, subscribe, comment on this video to let me know I should keep doing these videos. And we'll just keep going and see what else is wrong with the site. When you look at the contact page, it has a phone number up here, kind of small, and they say their address is 300 South Pine Island. But notice how it doesn't have, it's, there's Chase Bank, but right here it doesn't say anything about this company. That's just a street. And on the contact page, they have a 213 area code here, and then they have a 954, and they both are supposedly in Florida. But if you go to Google and and check what Google says about a 213 area code, maybe you know, I, I know because I've, I've lived there, 213 is Los Angeles. So this phone number is in, is in the other side of the country. I, I checked 954, that is actually in Florida. But, so that's a problem. They don't have real-time inventory. Uh, if you go to the FAQ page here, it has some frequently asked questions, and one of them is, can I pick up my order at your warehouse? You know, that would be, that would make me at ease if I could go to their warehouse and see it, you know, and see the box, see it's new. Sorry, but our warehouse is not set up to process walk-in orders or pickups. Now, that's not very friendly, right? So... Uh, they, they don't want to see you in person and, and my belief is that's because they're not at that location um, they're probably not even in the United States oh here's a 321 area code where is that at 321 oh that is in Florida okay so some of these numbers are in Florida but you know getting a phone number is not that big a deal you can go on whatsapp or Google Voice or Wherever and, and get you know a phone number anywhere in the United States or other countries. You could get numbers in Canada or Mexico or wherever you want a number. It's not it's not that difficult. Um, here's a page for reviews and feedbacks. 
but th that's kind of weird, right? Feedbacks, that's, that's showing someone that they're having a problem with plural singular instances and they're not very, English is not their first language. Um, uh, usually that's something people have problems with in English is plural singular instances. Um, so this has nothing on the review page. Let's go to, at the bottom of the page is the address again and it looks fairly normal and um, oh I wanted to go to the home page. Let's go to the home page and look at something else. So if you scroll down the page it says customer service 24 7. I mean what gun shop does that? 24, day, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? I mean even the huge companies don't do that like at night and on the weekends they're not always there. That's just weird, right? it probably is messaging these people on the scammers on their like cell phone so that's how they can respond any hour of the day or night um, you know all this stuff sounds good but it's all a lie I mean authorized dealer I'd like I'd like to see their you know them listed on an actual manufacturers website and it says easy and sh safe shopping we've got you covered 100% sh secure that doesn't mean anything by the way, uh, six years of experience. Hmm. Two thousand satisfied clients. So six years. What is that? Four hundred customers a year. That's like one and a half a day. Every day. That's a lot. But if you take their domain, you copy it, and then you go to a, do a who is lookup. You can just paste the domain here and hit return. And it's actually here, Ammo Gun Shop. And they're not, whatever they said, five or six years. They said six years. It's actually almost two. So it's like one, it's like one year, nine months old right now. And they are using Cloudflare, so I can't tell where their web host is. That, that's a little unusual for a gun shop. Uh, usually they're not that advanced and they're not worried about being um, attacked or hacked or you reporting them to their web host. That's what they're trying to do is they're trying to prevent you from reporting them to their web host. Um, they have privacy on. This says it's hosted in Malaysia uh, or at least the, the register was in Malaysia. I don't believe that's true either. So there's nothing really useful here other than it's, it's, it's almost two years old. It's not six years old. And I also don't believe there's an, I don't believe there's any satisfied customers. We'll get to that later. They've got some blog posts here. And down here is the footer. And then it says PayPal, Apple Pay, Zelle, Cash App, Venmo. Whenever you see this on a website and they don't take credit cards and they don't take cash and they don't want to see you in person, it's probably a scam. There's about 1,800 of these scam websites that have been started during the pandemic. Here's one of their blog posts. It's better than most, but this picture is a little bit too good for you know the average gun store. And I like to just take a sentence of the blog and copy it and go to Google and put a quotation mark and paste that and then end quote and then see where else on the internet that's at. So it's on the site we're looking at. Oh, there's nowhere else right now. Uh, this is supplemental. Let's see what the supplementals are. Ammo gun shop, gun ammo shop. So here is the same blog. It's just changed the order of the domain name. Now, I'm going to look at this, and I'll open it in a new tab. See how it looks the same? <laughs> but now the domain, instead of ammo gun shop, is gun ammo shop. And I'll say yes to this because it doesn't really matter. It's got a different name, Patrick Berkeley. And here's the sentence I took. It's the exact same blog. And it's a pretty good sentence. You know, this is a pretty good blog post. I don't know where they got it or if they paid someone to write it or if it's from artificial intelligence. You know, it could be from a lot of places. Uh, but I would, I would bet 
that this is a scam and I would bet this is a scam. I don't know what that's doing. It's archiving another page. Okay, well, whatever. Um, so I did some research on what this domain, where it's getting its traffic from. And this is using a tool called semrush.com. It gets 1,200 searches a month. They have a million backlinks. Yeah. Um, and here's their traffic. It's been growing. It, it grew pretty fast. It started here and then, you know, it's been pretty steady for the last year or so. Um, here's the number of keywords they rank for. They rank for 2,000 different keywords. And if I hover on this, I can see that 45 of them are top three. Yeah. And if I look at the details, here's the keywords that they're ranking for. And here's the position that they're ranking for. Let's see, what has, oh, Mare's Leg. Eh, it's not top 10, we'll not look at that. I think I looked at, oh, Henry Mare's Leg for sale. So, do all Henry Mare's Leg for sale. So here's the, I think that's the official site, Henry. Here's Gunbroker, they're real. And then um, here's the fake site right here. So it's ranking number four. And here's Bass Pro, which is real, Omaha, Firearms Texas. I think that one's fake. So the scam website here is ranking above legitimate websites. With, and, the, and the reason they can do that is they have a million uh, backlinks. And let me gauge Sabo Slug. And here it is, right here. So this is like these are pictures, and those are legitimate sites, I think. I don't know if Presley is real or real. And here's a fake site. So the fake site is ranking really highly. Um, so you got to be very careful shopping online. Um, a lot, a lot of, there's a lot of fake sites online. There's approximately 1,800 scam ammo and firearm sites. And to recap, AmmoGunShop.com is a scam site. Don't give them any money. If you did, I don't know how you can get your money back. Occasionally, people complain to like their bank or PayPal, and it's against like Zelle's payment pro. You're not supposed to buy firearms or like Venmo and stuff. You're not supposed to buy firearms. Um, you might get your account banned, but you might also get your money back. I. I I would say it's unlikely, but it's possible. You might, you might get them in trouble. Which, if you're really interested in doing that, you you would might want to consider complaining to to uh, uh, PayPal or Venmo or Zelle or whoever you did, and give them as much details. There's probably a middleman that took the money and then took a cut. Um, oh, and the other thing you can do is if you're if you still don't for some reason believe me. Um, Paste the domain and look at, look at uh, Ammo Gun Shop Review, and you can see that there's other people that have been scammed. Like on the Bitter Business Bureau, uh, they do great work. And here is their page, and here's the domain we're looking at. Here's the same address on Pine Island, and sorted by date. This person got scammed about a month and a half ago. Right now it's the end of August. Uh, this is scam. I got random text. Don't know how they got my number. They're not for real. Um, yeah. So they've been scamming. See how these are all. See, th sometimes these five star r reviews are fake. And I have another video on um, Trustpilot where sometimes the Trustpilot uh, reviews are fake. But uh, Better Business Bureau does a better job 
So as soon as they opened, um, they were scamming people and then they used some other uh, scam website to say is their shipper. They're saying this word Atlantic Express mail. And then they'll ask you for more money um, for shipping. Uh, but it's all a scam. Don't give them any more money and I hope you have better luck shopping online in the future. Thank you. Bye.